It's late evening at the Meerkat Magic Conservation Project in the Meerkat Magic Valley Reserve and I've come across a usually incredibly shy and very very fast Tenebrionid beetle more specifically a carabid type the elytra wing panels are actually fused so it's lost the ability to fly so that entire abdomen area there is very typical of these ground beetles they're predatory beetles very very rapid moving beetles during the day it's difficult to even see them for more than a few seconds before they rush off into the undergrowth but it's the breeding season here at the moment in October late October and so this beetle is actually out looking for a mate and there are quite a few of them out this evening and what this male is doing is he's actually standing around guarding a little scrape in the ground near an ant nest and Possibly there will be some females that will join him later. Again, fantastic to see these carabids out at night like this. They're all gathering around this late October in the year, just after the rainfall we've had. I've seen them making lots of shallow scrapes in the soil as they prepare to breed. And it's just amazing to be able to actually see this for more than a few seconds at a time. And they seem to protect the territory. And there are many, many, many different ones that are coming together here. I've seen a few dozen in a hundred meters squared or so on this walk already this evening. And they definitely must be congregating. So they're probably using some kind of pheromone to attract mates. And I'm incredibly fortunate to be watching something I've never seen before which is two carabid beetles mating here. And I wasn't aware that this was actually the breeding season for this very shy secretive predatory beetle. It's lost the ability to fly and its elytra or wing panels in the abdomen have actually fused. What's typical of the species that occurs here at the reserve are the spots on its abdomen. The only reason I'm able to get within a few centimeters of this beetle now without it even noticing me, apart from the fact that it's preoccupied, is because of the nightlight from this camera which is hiding me from its view. During the daytime it is incredibly sensitive to any kind of movement and changes in the light, and it's rare to even see these beetles for more than a few seconds before they run for cover. It does have a last defense mechanism if someone decides to carry on pursuing it, which is it will start moving in very jagged, shaky movements before tilting its abdomen up towards an attacker and spraying a defense spray of acid more than a meter away from it. So I'm well within its range, but fortunately it's not interested in me at all at the moment. Now I've noticed that these beetles have been gathering around over the last week or so after the rainfall here at the reserve and they're making shallow scrapes in the soil so it's clearly their breeding season fascinating creatures often eating ants and caterpillars that I've noticed them hunting and the meerkats in this area definitely don't eat these kind of beetles they clearly have had close encounters with them before where they've been sprayed so they tend to leave these beetles alone whenever they come across them. And that's this carabid beetle. It has very large mandibles for hunting the insects that it will dispatch with a snip from those powerful jaws. And it's time to leave it in peace here. Very fortunate sighting.